Hydrostatic equilibrium is a term used to describe the state of balance, the stability inside the sun. It basically means that the pressure at a given depth below the surface is due to the weight of the overlying material. The term hydrostatic equilibrium has its origin in water. Note that liquids are incompressible, so that the density of water near the surface is the same as the density of water at a great depth. But the pressure increases as you move to greater depths due to the weight of the amount of water above that position. This is described by the equation pressure equals rho times g times h, where rho is the density of water, g is the acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, and h is the height of the material above that position. Note that this equation also describes atmospheric pressure on the surface of Earth, 101,000 newtons per meter squared, which is caused by the weight of the air above. So the real equation for pressure at depths in water should take into account the pressure that existed at the surface, P0, caused by the atmosphere. Pressure equals atmospheric pressure plus rho times g times h. The apparatus shown allows us to measure pressure and display hydrostatic equilibrium. A pressure sensor, which feeds information to the computer, displays the pressure value near the end of the tube. One can easily demonstrate a pressure increase. Note that the pressure reading in air, atmospheric pressure, is 99.1 kilopascals. Normal atmospheric pressure is 101 kilopascals. But the sensor also effectively functions as a barometer, and a low-pressure weather system was moving through on the day this video was shot. The large cylinder filled with water allows us to read off the pressure at the depth to which we lower the pressure sensor, which feeds information to the computer. Since the air within the tube is being compressed as it is lowered, the point at which we are taking our measurement is at the air-water interface within the tube. If we lower the pressure sensor to a depth of 20 centimeters, 0.2 meters, below the surface of the water, we get a pressure reading of 101 kilopascals. So the pressure has increased 1.9 kilopascals over atmospheric pressure due to the weight of the overlying water. If we lower the pressure sensor twice as deep to 40 centimeters, 0.4 meters, the pressure increases to 103.2 kilopascals, 4.1 kilopascals over atmospheric pressure. If we rewrite our pressure equation so that the atmospheric pressure is subtracted from the pressure readings, hydrostatic equilibrium, within the accuracy of our equipment, is easier to see. Pressure minus atmospheric pressure equals rho times g times h. So at a depth of 20 centimeters, we are seeing a reading of 1.9 kilopascals over atmospheric pressure, and at a depth of 40 centimeters, we are seeing a reading of 4.1 kilopascals over atmospheric pressure. We will now push this demonstration in the direction of stellar material. Note that a star's material is compressible. The density of material grows larger with depth. Thus, pressure grows very large as we consider positions toward the center of a star, which creates the incredibly high temperatures needed for nuclear fusion reactions. Let's apply our demonstration, which worked very well for measuring pressure at depths in water, to gain some understanding of how stars work. We have removed the water from the cylinder and will now add some caro syrup. Note that caro syrup has a density of 1.33 grams per centimeter cubed, compared to water's density of 1 gram per centimeter cubed. We now fill the rest of the cylinder with water. We have attempted to create a gradual increase in density from the top of the solution, being almost all water with a density of 1 gram per centimeter cubed, to the bottom, being almost all caro syrup with a density of 1.33 grams per centimeter cubed, what scientists would call a density gradient. Let's look at this mixture in our pressure apparatus. At a depth of 20 centimeters, we read a value of pressure 2 kilopascals above atmospheric pressure. Now let's measure the pressure at a depth that is twice as great. 40 centimeters. Your instructor will now stop the video. Before we take a look at the demonstration, please make a prediction regarding what is going to happen and explain your reasoning on a piece of paper. We know that if the cylinder only contained water, the increase in pressure would be twice as big, 4 kilopascals. The pressure in the water plus caro syrup is still due to the weight of the overlying material, but now the pressure grows more rapidly near the bottom of the cylinder, because the overlying weight grows more rapidly due to the higher caro density. 
Here is the demonstration data in an Excel chart. Note that the increase of pressure is faster than that of water by itself, a subtle effect due to the fact that the density of Cairo syrup is only a little greater than the density of water and that our cylinder has limited height. A cylinder of material on the sun is thousands of kilometers tall and the pressure gets very large at the bottom. More teaching materials are available on the web at astro.unl.edu.